while ago. The odometer I started up with, 1472. Steep incline. I'm gonna need a drive going south to Kirkland. Fifth gear, PSA 2. I usually do a warm up here. But this is my warm up to start off with. Today's also is gonna be a, a different ride or a different direction I haven't gone to before. And it's also gonna be a high 74 degrees, so. Beautiful day. I was supposed to bike with uh, Kyra on our Red City to Bainbridge. We're gonna do that on Wednesday, four days from now. She has, uh, he goes to UW, and she still has finals and reports to do, so she thought she was coming up with a homework, but she wasn't. So maybe in the next video, I'll have a post a video of her and her Red City, the mileage, and the upgraded uh, or updated tires that she got from her first flat. Is that another FLX I just saw? I just got, I gotta review my video. And I'm gonna take this bridge instead of going straight. This is a more enjoyable ride going this way. The view up there is uh, downtown Seattle. So yeah, this video it's gonna be a first of everything. First time uh, got a flat from a little staple, like a, I guess like a stapler or a staple from like a construction site, which I don't have any on my way home. But it just managed to get in between the tread of the tire onto the thinnest part and then puncture a little micro hole on the inner tube itself, which caused to give me a flat. So I ended up buying. A spare tire, of the same one I had, but didn't realize when after I pushed the purchase button, I like maybe I need to change the inner tube. And so, without doing any research, I end up getting a 27.5 tire, which the Shrubby tires I have right now, the Mondale, are 2.0 which on the REI specs was 1.9 to 2.35. So I'm thinking, you know, that's the range of where that tube could inflate. So I figured my tire is 2.0. So I got that. And then I took the tire off, took the tube out, inspected it, removed the open new box of tube and realized it's not even the same tube same size and so I ended up going down the street to my local uh, bike shop Bothell Bikes got some advice from them and then just did the patch the, the bike patch itself right now I'm constantly looking <laughs> down once in a while just to make sure I don't have a flat and then patch it up put the tire on and then I've learned also when you put a tire back on a, on a bike is to just uh, the brakes 
to make sure that the calipers or the brake pads are not rubbing or in centered. I learned to put the tire on, press the brake level, and then you know basically untie the or undo the mounts, unscrew it, brake lever, put pressure on it, tighten it up, and let go of it, and that centers the brake pads and the calipers on the rear tire. So that's the first. That's the first for me. With the front tire, it's like the brake pads are just a little bit wider, so I don't have to like ever need to adjust that. So yeah, that's something that I learned. And you know, you learn as you go. And I'm on my way to go somewhere I haven't ever ridden my bike. My concern is going through downtown Bellevue. Whoops. And getting my uh, stuff that I ordered online, and then I went home. So that was pleasantly surprising. And then this morning, oh, here, welcome to Kirkland. Okay. Too bad there's no like food court here. I would be like definitely be eating. Okay, it's a green light, so I think I'll take my time going through here. What are you doing? Don't you have right away, dude? The nice thing about going riding a bike, you basically have gone through all this traffic. <laughs> 